Um, okay, I think my camera is okay. Do I look okay? Yeah, I guess I look okay. <laughs> okay, let's get started. Hello guys and welcome back to my channel, Orange Orang. Today I have a very exciting experience that I want to share with you. And I hope this is going to be helpful to you guys, especially uh, foreign for foreign people who are driving here in Japan. So I just renewed my license this month and for three years, for the past three years, thankfully, I didn't have even an accident. So thank God. <laughs> okay, yeah, let's just, let's get started. So first things first, um, two months before your driver's license expires, you will receive um, a postcard from the driving center telling you to renew your license one month before or after your driver's license expires. In other words, say for example, your license expires at uh, expires on February 18th. So you still have like until March 18th to renew your license. Okay, so before or after. Um, in the postcard, this is what the postcard looks like. There you go. The postcard, these are the following details that you will find. First, the information where you can renew your license. So there are several centers that are mentioned here and you can choose anywhere you like. But I highly recommend that you go to the nearest center from your apartment or from your area. The things that you have to bring, the amount that you have to pay. So in my case, it's 3800 plus. You bring extra money because in my case, I paid for additional 1500 yen for, um, what's this, road safety stuff. I don't know. I, I didn't remember what I paid for. <laughs> so you have to bring extra money, at least 3000 yen. Traffic violations, if there is any traffic violations that you... Um, had for the, for the past years that you've been driving but mine I didn't have any traffic violation and then the schedule when you can go to this to the to the center so mind you because I overlooked the schedule in the postcard and it says there I can go or I can come to that center from 9 to 10 and then from 1 to 2 o'clock so the reception is open from 9 to 10 and then resumes at 1 to 2 o'clock. And I thought they're open from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. So no, um, after 10, 10 a.m., after 10 a.m., the reception will close and then they will resume at 1 to 2 p.m. So in my case, I had to wait for like almost three hours for the reception to open at 1 a.m. And then I highly recommend you go 30 minutes before the scheduled time because there are a lot of people um, on the line. If you want to, so you need to bring your current driver's license, your residence card, money, um, pen, and then translator app if you can't read Japanese because there's a portion in, in the process where you have to um, check or like answer yes or no when it comes to relate health-related issues. And then eyeglasses, if you're wearing eyeglasses while driving. So in my case, I wear eyeglasses uh, whenever I drive. So the process, the process is really quick. And if you don't know what to do, just follow the people around you, where they go. But if you're really good at Japanese, you can definitely um, go all through this smoothly. And yeah, I think there will be no major problem that you're going to encounter if you're good at Japanese. But in my case, I'm not really good. But my Japanese is good enough to understand what the receptionists are telling me so in the first reception you're going to give them this postcard and then your driver's license your current driver's license and then the money okay so it says here that i have to pay three thousand three thousand eight hundred fifty yen so you're going to give it to them and then 
the receptionist told me, oh, so in the next window, you have to pay 1,500 yen for the road stuff or something. I'm not sure. And then I, I went to the next um, window. And then in, the, in that window, they're going to give you this form. So I'm just going to show it to you. They're going to give you this form. And if you're not good at reading Japanese, just use your bestie Google app and then translate it and then answer answer all the questions so it's just about health related issues and then um, they will give you a card holder but before they give you this um, you have like options like you can have the color of your choice so in my case because my favorite color is brown I chose brown my card holder case looks good and then in the same window you will also receive like the road safety and rules, which is the booklets, which are written in Japanese. So good luck to us. <laughs> but if you're patient, then you can go ahead and get your Google Translate app and then read it. I mean, there's no harm in reading it. Yeah, it's time for you to go to the third process which is the eye test so in your eye test you have to speak japanese which is very easy you just have to say to the instructor if letter c is facing up facing right or facing left or facing down so for facing up it's ue ue <laughs> sorry and for facing left uh, sorry right is migi for facing left is hidari, and for facing down is shita. So you just have to tell them, i, ue, migi, hidari, shita. But make sure that you're saying it in the correct Japanese, in incorrect Japanese, because if it's the exact opposite of what you're saying, and you're, you're really confident of what you're saying, but it's the exact opposite, then you're messed up okay so yes um be mindful of that direction up down left and right okay that's super easy so for wearing for those people who are wearing eyeglasses yes you can wear your eyeglasses after that you're gonna go to the fourth window and then they're gonna take a look at your current driver's license and then ask you your current address so it's like confirming your current address and they're gonna let you take off your mask and look if you're the person on the picture and then after that you have to wait for like five to seven minutes for someone to call your name because this is the moment of taking picture <laughs> which i was not really prepared because at the back of my mind at the time my my goal, my only goal is to just renew my license, nothing else. And I completely forgot that they're going to take a new picture of me. So I wasn't prepared. I didn't prepare. I didn't put on my makeup at the time. And my hair was so messy. And then the process is pretty quick. You don't, we didn't have the time to, you know, um retouch you know we didn't really have the time so it's like okay next okay next and then click okay thank you and then next so something like that they they, they wouldn't even tell you if um you you have like um your hair is messy or something like that so they don't care about it they didn't let me smile but in yamagata center they let me smile maybe because they already knew me because i failed twice and then my third time i finally uh, got my driver's license so for some of you who are asking i had an international driver's license and then um switch it to japanese driver's license so that's how i did it i didn't pay like more than two hundred thousand yen to pay for the driving uh driving school something like that so no after taking the picture um this is the fun part <laughs> So the fun part is you have to attend the two-hour lecture, okay? So there, there is a color coding for 
Japanese driver's license, okay? For the green color, that means you're a beginner. For the blue color, the blue color means you're a regular driver, something like that. Nothing special. And the gold color is, that means you're a good driver because for over five years, you didn't have any accident or traffic violations. So, gold is... <laughs> the highest okay so it's like if, if you are a gold holder driver's license meaning you're a good driver okay i have a blue one right now and this is my <laughs> the moment of the moment of truth this is my license and um when it comes to the two hour lecture i mean when it comes to lecture uh process if you are a green card holder, if you're currently a green card holder, getting a blue one, you have to attend two hours of lecture. And then if you're a blue one, going to a gold, uh, transitioning, transitioning to a gold card holder, then you just have to attend one hour lecture. And then... Um, if you are a gold card holder, remaining to be a gold card holder, then you just have to attend 30 minutes of lecture, okay? And then, let's say you're a, you're a green, blue, gold, but you had traffic violations. You have to attend a two-hour lecture. Let's talk about the lecture. So, the lecture took two hours, so it's like two hours of pretending that you understood that i understood everything in the lecture but in reality i only understood 10 percent of it so the lecture is i guess it depends upon the lecturer but our lecturer uh he showed us a bunch of traffic i, I mean a bunch of road accidents and like refreshed us about um the safety traffic rules and safety driving safe driving you know and then they also gave us this paper it's like a self-evaluation test good thing good thing this self-evaluation test is um you can keep it <laughs> okay so you don't I didn't have to submit it to them. Good thing. Why? Because, you know, as you can see, it's all written in Japanese and I can't understand Japanese. I can't read kanji, you know. So, I use my Google Translation app. And you know what? Google Translation app messed it up. <laughs> because at the back of this, you will see, you will see the correct answer, actually. So... These are the correct answers. And then you just have to compare your <laughs> answer, your answers to the correct ones. And look at that. It's entirely the opposite of the correct answer, right? So you have to <laughs> be my... <laughs> yeah, so I was really worried at that time because I thought we were going to submit it. So thankfully, we didn't submit it and yeah this is actually the translation of the google translator app <laughs> so it's really messed up after two hours they're going to dis distribute bleh, distribute the new license okay before they give you the new license you have to check all the information your address your name your birthday and then you have to confirm that it's all correct. And then if that's okay, then they're going to give you your new license. And then you have to surrender your old one. Okay, so you don't get to keep it. So you have to surrender it to them. And then after that, voila, <laughs> all finished. So I have finished renewing my driver's license here in Japan for three hours I guess okay so I think it's way faster than in my home country and I mean the process is really fast it's just the it's just the lecture that made it you know 
a little bit long <laughs> okay but yeah as i've mentioned before it was a two hour of pretending that i understood everything but of course if you can understand japanese you know that will be more interesting right okay yes yeah, so that is my experience upon renewing my driver's license here in japan and if god allows that i'm still here in japan for the next five years i hope that i won't be having any traffic violations for the next three years yeah so yes yeah, so you guys i hope you get a lot of information from this video and if there are other things that you want to clarify or if there are questions that you want to if there are questions that you want to ask me um don't hesitate to drop your questions in the comment section down below okay and if you really appreciate this video please don't be so selfish and then give this video a thumbs up okay thank you very much and i'll see you next time and please don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel, Orange Aura. See you! Watch out! <laughs>